All right, Grown Mindset again with you. Uh, I'm Simon, um, Simon Davila, uh, for those who don't know me. Well, Cell. Uh, Cell is a platform to make payments here in the United States, and uh, we have uh, another countries that um, are using very very strongly uh, the platform uh, this is the case of venezuela venezuela is using well my 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 love venezuela my my country is using this platform very strongly to um, uh, to make payments so um, it's a uh, at first we we have this uh, this um, phenon phenomenon phenomenon for well the using in other country uh, outside the 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 USA so it's a platform is a made method of payment is a solution okay uh, in many cases for entrepreneurs for uh, people that are are not uh, in in the they that didn't have a, an account in Venezuela, so it's it's a solution, okay. Uh, but we're we're going to learn about what kind of solutions we have uh, in Venezuela that. Um, uh, for those who doesn't have any account in the United States and and they 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 want to receive Zelle payments because of the convenience and because of the situation in the country in Venezuela so we have a uh, first and foremost um, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm first so uh, the this electronic payment is uh, is used because you can uh, do payments between accounts and um, different accounts, different banks without um, uh, well without uh, commissions. That's uh, that's the um, the most loved about Zelle payments and um, then uh, the popularity has been growing bit, um, through the years the, the, the last years um, and uh, right now in Venezuela there's many um, many places uh, in the in the environment um, the the economic environment w which is uh, like shops restaurants um, service providers uh, beauty salons uh, and even informal commerce informal informal commerce in Venezuela they are using Zelle okay so and the uh, other point other uh, um, other important phase of this uh, 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 of this uh, fact is that people is uh, people is using using Zelle to make remittances. So it's very important. This uh, the Venezuelan market for for Zelle, and not all people have the ability to to uh, to be. Um, uh, to be part of uh, of the financial of a financial institution here in the United States. So um, then, uh, other fact of this is well the the nature dollarization that is happen because it's happening uh, naturally. Okay, the the dollarization in Venezuela is uh, is going. Um, without a law, uh, uh, the the only the only law that we we that we have like uh, dollarizing is uh, is uh, is not directly 
saying, well, we're dollarizing the economy in Venezuela, but this law actually is, uh, is telling you, well, you can transact in dollars, but you gotta have to pay a, a fee to the gov government, which is the new, the new IGTF um, uh, tax for payments from one dollar to one million dollars you can you you gotta have to pay a, a tax and it's funny because the the tax is for big transactions uh, the the name is big big transaction and and began with one dollar but it's the name so well this is uh, in the law right now but it's is uh, as I, uh, as I say is uh, is a dollarization by nature because it's not uh, is is not being implemented in the law directly so well then uh, we have some some options for people that doesn't have uh, any account in the United States but uh, right now um, it will be possible to open uh, some um, some wallets. So, so those digital wallet that allows uh, to transact with with a company that um, have actually the account in the United States, and uh, uh, they they perform as an intermediary for uh, transactions with those who doesn't have any bank account in the United States. So um, uh, these, uh, these apps, these, uh, these platforms, um, the only thing that they, they just ask you is just uh, make, make a, a selfie with, uh, with your, uh, with your ID some of them and others uh, well it depends on the platform uh, they they ask you for a, a, a self photograph the the identity card and well a confirmation of identity some of them and uh, well we have actually um, the, the the Coroto 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 or Coroto in Spanish Coroto app so you can you can send uh, whoever um, money so you you can you can send money and, and you're not supposed to be registered in the in in the Coroto wallet uh, so then um, you can have uh, you can make a payment to uh, e an, an email address that they provide and then uh, it will be possible to receive the the money in Bolívares in Venezuela so they 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 do this uh, this process and well the platform like is um, it's a little uh, we, we we did the, the research they have 461 followers in uh, in Twitter so well uh, maybe maybe uh, they are not so well not 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 so known and uh, well we have uh, the other option AKV fintech which has many many problems this uh, this uh, this last uh, uh, months and um, remember that this is not fin financial advice uh, many 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 uh, uh, digital wallets are coming and they're being they're being using they're, they're being used and we have the reserve uh, app to you can have the, the the description in the description you have um, you have down there uh, many many the, the options that we're like uh, suggest we're not not suggest suggesting because we're not advisors but 
we can uh, we can only talk about it to refer and to tell you what what we think about things and facts okay then we have the the chin chin the chin chin wall the uh, wallet they they have uh, some of those um well they allow transfers in dollar through zelle in their in their digital wallet so they they charge three percent uh, they they consider themselves the chin chin app as a as a fin financial bridge uh, when receiving and sending uh, digital dollars. Um, then we have um, the RTM. Is uh, it, it was um, it's been this this app well known uh, for uh, to to make transaction, but not directly with uh, with Zelle payments. But they they are like uh, more, um, um, let's say, another um, other breaches from uh, for people that doesn't ha doesn't have the ability to to have a bank account in Venezuela, and then uh, uh, we have those breaches. Uh, the the reserve app, the um, Bitcoin wallets, and uh, we have. Um, uh, well, well um, we have many cases of of people that receive payments uh, actually in uh, in in bolivares and they need to to pay providers and so and they just receive the the bolivares they receive them and then uh, they exchange with local bitcoins they 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 can use local bitcoins to um, to convert bolivares in dollars because uh, they they just use the, a bridge between uh, local bitcoins. They 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 buy the bitcoins in dollar in in local bitcoins and they and then they transfer those bitcoins uh, to whatever uh, wallet in 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 the united states uh, or in europe can be whatever wh wherever they they want to they want to have the money and then they they just sell the the bitcoins in order to to receive the the payment the the dollars or the euros uh whatever so well those platforms are interesting if you're looking to be an entrepreneur in venezuela and you don't have any ability to have this account in the uh, united states you have many many options and um in if you're in another country you have like many many options to have a digital wallet or uh, another uh, many many fintechs that that are right now working to provide solutions for the people so smash the like button for the youtube algorithm I'm, I'm simon davila and see you in the next love you so much